Hey my little angels and welcome back to another video you guys. So anyways, let us find out the winner for the 500 cheese coin code. And the winner is... Poga, hashtag 8248. Congrats, you can contact me either on Discord or on forums, like Atelier Forms. Good luck, you guys, for the next giveaway, which is going to be a St. Patrick's Day themed clothing accessory. Love your content. Aw, thanks, Samofer. And oh, I love you all. <laughs> thanks so much. And, oh my goodness, their artwork is amazing. Blooming 44, like, this is so pretty. And they have a whole speed paint up, which you can check. I'll put the link in the description below for that video, but I love watching speed paints of like your own artwork especially. It's just, it has like a different sort of, I don't know, it's like a calming vibe. It, it's nice. I just really like it. <laughs> but yeah, so pretty. Love it. <laughs> Firestone's keyboard be like scourge. I have no idea what else is written. <laughs> Thanks animations. And that was this item which didn't really show up here. I was actually playing this game last night, and if you go in the blue house, you're watching Epic Tales and scoring it at least a 9.5. And that means congratulations in Chinese, apparently. <laughs> I want to know what love is I want you to show. I don't even know what song it is, so I can't really sing it. I want to feel what love is I know you can show me. Aye, thanks so much. <laughs> and now we have new items. So we have a violet backed sterling fur. Another bird related fur. Okay, it's a bird theme once again. But it's purple one. It, there, it's been a while since we've seen a purple fur. So like, oh my gosh, finally another purple fur. <laughs> and then we have the canary, canary, that item, a parrot's beak. We have way too many beaks now. Like we literally have a lot of beaks and I don't think anyone really uses them much. Why do we have more beaks? <laughs> Small sword. As you can see, there's the background, which is different. That is not part of the official events, so a Lua event is probably coming out soon, if not today. So, as you can see, it says a Lua event right there, and we know it's kind of like some sort of pirate theme. I mean, look at the hand item, look at that. So, let's see what it is. And next one is going to be the badge. Like, so cute. It's holding its tail. <laughs> so cute. Such a cute badge. <laughs> and then why three beaks and more bird <laughs> yeah the beak part i'm not sure about i guess they needed something to fill in the bird theme <laughs> uh yeah more bird stuff but yeah i don't know about the three beaks i don't think we use a lot of the beaks honestly <laughs> and this is what they had posted day before yesterday tomorrow's st patrick's day hmm. okay but yeah day before yesterday they posted this as a kind of spoiler <laughs> or a trailer i don't know whatever but yeah, so that reminds you of like a pirate ship type thing. We'll see what happens. Now we shall go into the official video. Okay, so we have the fur. I think they are standard pricing them out by now. I'll go into the sales in a bit. You have a more, de I feel like at each new beak that comes up, they detail it a little bit more. So you'd want the most detailed beak, right? But they don't come out with it right away. They slowly make it more detailed as it goes along. I mean, that's the way it looks like. <laughs> then you have this. It's like a rape rapier. I don't know what it's called. Yeah, it is called rapier. Rapier, exactly. So that's what that is. I did know the word for this. That's interesting. <laughs> okay, back to this. We have the canary head item. That's this reminds me of the um the cloud hair with the rainbow coming out, but I think that's supposed to be a feather. But I don't know why it's so long. It is a feather from the head. <laughs> But I just, oh, you could have like a nest kind of a hair and then have it on top. <laughs> this is from last week. I honestly like last week's stuff much better. The only thing I'd be like, okay, the fur, we have a different color now. But apart from that, eh, <laughs> I like this stuff better. But anyways, that's just me. Okay, we have six more days for these permanent which turn into collector. Mm. And then let's go to the sales, I guess. Sure, let's go on to the sale. So as you can see, we have a big set of sales over here since St. Patrick's Day is tomorrow. So we have two different furs. So grab your hands on them while you can or pause. And then they added some contact lens. I like that they're including those. A lot of people do want them. And that's a good standard one if you want a tired eye version. 
the hair, which was kind of recent, IMO, and the pricing was pretty decent too. Okay, this used to be permanent, right? Hmm. Anyways, I'm not sure. Grab those, and you have this cute little ear item. Then you have your head, box that, and this is the, it looks exactly like this, but a Canon version of it. That's that, and then we have your balloon. And now let's go on into the outfits. Okay, so the theme was leprechauns, and both of the outfits are so cute. <laughs> oh, this is gonna come back for Easter, most likely. So if you wanna wait for that, you can wait for that. This is on sale right now, so that makes this whole thing priced a little bit cheaper. That, I mean, it's a springtime item. I feel like it might come back in sale if it didn't already. That's a, perm that's a collector, that's also a collector. This seems to be used quite a few. Huh, but this was a Christmas time thing. That is a very useful hair. It'll come back again in outfits, I'm pretty sure. That's a permanent. We just had this for in the prior fashion squad outfit or something like that, or prior to prior. I think two outfits ago, maybe? Or was it last outfit? Hmm. Anyways, yeah, we've had the snail fur. I think it was two outfits ago. Yeah, it was for the book club theme. But yeah, that's a collector. I feel like it might come back during springtime. Again, this is cheaper because this is on sale right now. That's a permanent collector. That gets used decently often. I don't know. This is a permanent item, but has been turned into a collector. Hmm. Let me check. Yeah, it's still a permanent item, but that could get turned into a collector. There is a chance of it because, I mean, it's Halloween themed. Unless they're done with Halloween themed permanent to collectors. Mm, let's go back. Okay. So for now, that's a permanent. You can buy it. Like, oh, this is a collector. It's a very useful collector. It will come back in other outfits for sure because it's very useful, very versatile to use. That's a permanent. And I'm going to show you customizations now. Okay, let's look at the different colors of this fur. There are quite a few different colors. Let's see. So you have your basic, and then you have that, that, and that. You also have that on the tail and over there. I don't know if you're interested in that. I mean, it's going to be similar, not exactly the same. Um, what other colors do you want? Maybe that one. These are similar, the dots. Oh, the inside of this is a little bit different. And then we have this, which is a, well, actually, that's more of the accurate color. And let's see. You can look at the eye color, which is that. <laughs> Where you got that. So honestly, it could just be this, this, that. This should cover like all the different colors. But anyways, those are your different colors right there. And oop. <laughs> Let's see what else. Oh, head item. Let's see the customizations on this one. <laughs> so many different customizations. Okay. Make you really big and do that. And randomize. I love gradients, as you guys know. Okay, this one's not gradiented. Why is that not gradiented? What? I don't like this. This part's gradiented, but that's like a random thing sticking out. What is this? <laughs> that does not... Is this like an extra... Is there supposed... I think this was supposed to be gradiented, but it's not. Because, I mean, even if that didn't exist, this thing's covering, like, the whole thing. You can see cutting out over there. But you have that, and then you have this as, like, the rest of it. So this is one thing. All right, so you have, I like, it's going from top to bottom. Okay, eye, and then should be this next, but okay. Got no eye, but the white part's going to remain white no matter what the rest of the color is. Okay, they did beak next. All right, I guess. And let's change it into a whole different color. <laughs> then you have this flush, which does not blend in around. I really wish it did blend in. That would make it a lot better. And then you have the tip of the tail, which is nice. That one's fine. That doesn't, that wouldn't make sense to blend in. It makes it unique. But yeah, this thing over here, I'm pretty sure this is supposed to be, like, ombre. <laughs> yeah, that, that's just sticking out like a sore thumb right now. Okay, that's not what I was trying to do. See, if I did that, now you can't tell. It's part of it. But why, is there, is there any, like, bird or something that has it separately sticking out? I, anyways, that's that one. Um, oh, mouth. Okay, look, we... <laughs> We had this beak already. Like, why? Oh, okay, it's not getting more complex because we had another one down somewhere over oh, right here. This one was more complex, so never mind on that theory. <laughs> so yeah, we have that, we have this, and now we have that. This one's more detailed, but 
I didn't use beaks in the first place, so <gasps> why are there so many colors on this small item? <laughs> oh no, what are they doing to it? <laughs> okay, we have that. Oh, it looks like an O. <laughs> we have this part, then we have, oh, then we have the tiny part in there. I mean, these two could have been the same thing, but okay. Okay, we have one of those colors, we have that. It's like a shadow type thing being added in. I mean, we have this outline, which is another. I mean, I guess that's like highlighted in that shadow. Some more shadows, and then you have the tongue slash mouth. So both of those are the same color inside. It's just one's darker, the other's lighter. Okay, maybe you can get different kinds of beaks with this, I guess, <laughs> if you play around with it. See what you want with it, but that's a lot of customizations. <laughs> Anyways, next item. Ah, hand. Okay, that's the last item. All right, so let's look at this. Randomize. Oh, okay, they made this ombre. That's nice. All those really thin. It's probably going to be hard to see in the game because in the game, your rat's going to be like, yay, small. <laughs> so, I mean, mm, you won't be able to see a lot. But there you go. So we have this, and then we have the inside. Good, it, good. it's going in order, else I would have gone crazy if this wasn't in order. <laughs> Yeah, so as you can see, that's the order. Whee! You could probably just do like black and white and alternate it. Much better. And there you go. Now you have an alternating thing. So when you're tiny, it looks interesting. But that covers all of our customizations. That's about it for this video, guys. And happy early St. Patrick's Day. Don't forget to wear green so you don't get pinched. Have an awesome day, guys. Bye. Cute as always. Peace.